Hi everybody, I'm Patrick, and I'm starting a new show, sort of like a series, it's called Pat Stats. Okay, so, um, I'm just basically going to talk about Major League Baseball stuff, that's, um, unless if you want me to talk about something else. Um, in comments, could you please say something about, like, topic you want me to talk about of baseball like if there's something about baseball you want me to talk about just put it in comments please first thing i want to talk about is um the top starting pitchers in major league baseball the first one is clayton kershaw with the dodgers he was 16 and 9 with an era of 1.83 um the second one is Jose Fernandez. He was with the Marlins and he was twelve and six. Uh, he his ERA was two point nineteen. Uh, next was Matt Harvey. He was nine and five with the Mets and his ERA was two point twenty seven. Next one is the fourth is Anibal Sanchez. He was fourteen and eight with the Tigers and two. His ERA was 2.57. Uh, the next one, number five, was Zach Grinke with the Dodgers. He was 15-4 with an ERA of 2.63. The last but not least one I want to talk about about pitchers, well, starting pitchers, um, was Bartolo Colon, who played with the Athletics. He was 16-8 and eight and hit an ERA of 2.65. That's why he dropped down so far. Um, the, the next thing I wanted to talk about is Major League Baseball top leaders. Um, Miguel Cabrera led the American League in batting average with 348. Michael Kadir had led the National League in batting average with 331. Uh, Chris Davis led Home runs in the American League with 53. Um, Pedro Alvarez led the National League in home runs with 36. Chris Davis led the American League in RBIs with 138. Paul Goldschmidt led the National League in RBIs with 125. Jim Johnson led the American League in saves with 50. And same with Craig Kimbrell, just in the National League. He had 50, too. It's 50, uh, in case if you were wondering. I said 50 and 2. So, there's two different words. Um, Mike Trout won the American League and wins above replacement, 9.2. Carlos Gomez won. He was with the Brewers. He won the National League and... Uh, wins above replacement, 8.4. Another thing I wanted to talk about is Todd Helton's retire. Uh, Justin Morneau will replace him, but it's going to be hard to replace Todd Helton. It's very slim that um, Todd Helton's going to get to the Hall of Fame. He could, but I wouldn't count on it. So, um, Troy Talawiski says he's going to take over now. Which, that could happen because he's an all-star shortstop. But, the problem is Justin Moore knows taking his place. And he's not going to be the number four hitter this year. So, just, Troy Tulowitzki's an all-star. So, they should keep him maybe number second, third, or first. I would say keep him in the second and third part there. Another thing I want to talk about, well... How will this affect Fernando Rodney by the signing of Grant Balfour, even though Fernando Rodney's a free agent? Well, Fernando Rodney probably will get signed, unlike David Price. They're probably going to keep him because he's an all-star and everybody wants him. I'm, but I'm surprised nobody came after him yet. It's so late now in the off season that I'm thinking the Rays are just going to keep him now. I'm surprised he didn't get picked up at winter meetings. 
Um, next thing I wanted to talk about, I'm sorry, uh, Grant Balfour, he wanted to sign with the Rays because, um, he, um, now his house is in Clearwater, so he wanted to be close to home. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is, do you think the Yankees are going to do well with Alfonso Soriano, J Jacoby Ellsbury, Mishiro, Tanaka, even though they lost Granderson and Cano, but they have th the most Japanese star power with Hareki Kuroda, Ichiro Suzuki, and Mishiro Tanaka. Well, I know they lost Cano and Granderson, but they have one of the best outfields now. After losing Rodriguez off um, PEDs, they still can do all right. I'm going to say put Soriano number four, Ellsbury number one. Mashiro Tanaka should be the head of the starters. He's apparently he's really good. Um, another thing I want to talk about is if the Pirates pitcher AJ Burnett retires, the Pirates say they won't look for another pitcher right at, right now. All of their money is on a full-time first baseman. Burnett is a free agent this year. Um, you know, I think Burnett probably is going to stay. But I would say move Francisco Luriano to the number one spot. He's really good. Um, he got traded to them from the trade of Kevin Correa. Um, so their first baseman right now will be um, Gabby Sanchez, probably. I think he's still with them. Um, so I would say go after Corey Hart with the Seattle Mariners, but they just got him, and obviously they really like him that they got him. So it's going to be tough to get somebody.